Uh, good morning, everyone. It's November 8th. I'm back in Michigan, finally, and only here for a very short period of time. I haven't been in this public since last deer season, uh, probably last December. I don't know what crops are planted around it. I don't know how the acorns are um, in the different areas that I hunt. I'm going in blind today, so we'll see in the tree. Well, I know I said I would see you guys in the tree. Um, unfortunately, I'm not in one yet. I checked the, uh, the ground. Um, there's some acorns on the ground. There's none currently dropping. There's a few caps on the ground. They do have notches in them. It looks like they've been eating on them, but I don't know that it's a current hot food source. As much as I would love to jump up in the saddle, I just don't want to jump in a tree just to jump in a tree. I'm not finding the hot deer sign that I was hoping would be back here. And I found this, well, I knew it was here. I didn't know if it was still here. That ladder stand was put up last year. And there's a tree over here uh, that I see some orange tape around. That was not there last year. I'm gonna just ease my way through here and see if I can find some hot sign and try to get in a tree that might be worth it. I hope you could get the the deer in the shot on film. I was easing my way through here real slow. I just stopped right here at this down tree. I picked my bow back up and I only walked 10, 15 feet. And I looked up and there was a deer. Had its nose on the ground. Uh, it looked like a doe. And it zigzagged its way right to me. 20 yards. I think I put a good shot on it, but uh, I heard it. I heard it hit the deer. All right, so I just played the video back on my GoPro to see exactly where the deer was standing. I got a visual on the spot it was standing. Now I couldn't remember which two trees. It's been about 15 minutes. I'm just gonna go check the shot location. I don't smell anything and I don't uh, I don't see any guts I'm gonna drop this pack and just see if I can't at least start a blood trail I have blood right here at the site I'm getting really good blood now. I'm not seeing bubbles in it, but it's a really heavy stream of blood. All right, well, just an update. It's been an hour and a half now. Um, I started losing blood and just finding uh, 
just finding drops. It looked like the deer was walking. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I literally started finding drops like this. Like stuff I've been crawling on my hands and knees, searching for blood. I'm wondering if it's just a superficial flesh wound. I'm starting to think that, um, I mean, it looks like the deer is just walking at this point. Um, and I had decent blood, but it's uh, coagulating and uh, I'm getting just a drop. So I've fanned out and I've kind of grid searched this area. It's super thick. You literally have to crawl on your hands and knees. I'm in a little opening right here. But as you can see, all of that is just briars and super thick and you literally have to crawl on your hands and knees. Unfortunately, I can't see the shot placement because uh, I only had my GoPro running and when I watch the footage back on this little screen, you can't see uh, the shot at all. I don't know. I really don't know what I did, so unfortunately. Well, I managed to pick the trail up again. As you can see, they're just small drops of blood, but I at least got a direction to travel now. And looks like she's on a main deer trail here i'm just moving really slow and i'm being really quiet i've not heard anything crash off uh, again i think she's just walking she's probably long gone by now we're going on two hours now part of the reason i don't think i gut shot her she's never once laid down and she's just been walking the different deer trails, uh, heading in the same direction, but branching off on different deer trails. Uh, just a slow walk. Um, I'm honestly thinking it's just a flesh wound. Um, a gut shot deer will go off and lay down fairly close to where the shot was. And this deer hasn't laid down at all. It's just been walking a steady walk. I don't think it's a lethal shot and I'm only tracking the deer because I have blood and I think it's the ethical thing to do is to follow it out until I lose blood. As she got off the main deer trail that she was on, the blood picked up and had more than just a drop and she went through this really thick stuff. I had to crawl and then she came out and that's the last blood I have, but I've lost the blood again. I'm not sure what direction she went. So I've been on my hands and knees and been panning out uh, further up ahead, just looking around, trying to see if, if I can pick up a trail again. Uh, like I said, I, I'm really thinking based on the blood that I'm seeing and the fact that she's just walking, uh, I'm thinking it's uh, like a brisket hit or uh, something non-lethal. I'm still tracking as far as I can, just like I said, for ethical reasons. Uh, we owe it to the deer. I'm really disappointed in the, the shot, that it wasn't a better shot. I'm going to keep looking. I'll give you an update. just shy of five hours since I shot the doe and I tracked her 207 yards I was crawling on my hands and knees through this thick bedding area uh, through a lot of it and uh, was only finding drops of blood after having a decent blood trail again it was bright red blood 
had no bubbles in it at all and started out I wouldn't say heavy but started out there was more blood and then it faded into just drops the doe never bedded down she never stopped they were constant drops about every three or four feet um, you could tell she was just casually walking so I don't think the doe is um, mortally wounded uh, I don't think it was a lethal shot so with that being said I am now heading back to the truck beautiful day today you know I'm really thankful uh, to the Lord for the opportunity to be out here his creation is just amazing the colors the fall colors uh, just being out here in the hardwoods this is the first day I've gotten to hunt since deer season opened October 1st because as you probably know from following my channel my wife and I took a job in Montana so we were gone all summer in Montana and then I worked for a farmer in Minnesota helping him with the harvest for uh, the month of October and the first week of November. We just got in town yesterday. I ran to Walmart, bought my license. Um, I'm out here this morning, so feels really good to be out here. Unfortunately, I didn't recover, but I hate that. I feel bad, but that's the way it goes sometimes. I appreciate you guys following along. Hit the like button and the bell notification for future videos. And subscribe if you aren't already subscribed i would really appreciate it. it helps me out too if you drop me a comment down below but more importantly i hope you guys are able to get out and enjoy your own adventures take care